I've been thinking recently, we are living in such a time of divisiveness and frustration and anger, people pointing fingers at each other. And I think what the world needs right now is to find a way to be unified, to demonstrate love and mercy and compassion to the people that God has put into our lives. And I thought, what does the Bible have to say about unity, about keeping peace, about remaining one even when it's difficult? Well, I found this amazing passage in Ephesians chapter 4. This is the Apostle Paul, and he writes these amazing words. Verse 2, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Paul is reminding us we're, we're going to have to work at this. To keep peace, the bond of peace, we're going to have to make effort. It's going to take work. We're going to have to love people who look at the world a lot different than we do. How do we do it? Be completely humble. Be gentle, be patient, bear with one another in love. The, the way we can keep the bond of peace, the way we can remain unified is for all of us, with God's help, to remain humble, to remain gentle, and be patient with one another. And we can do that through the love that God has given us and that we can give to one another. So my challenge for us this week, whether it be at work, at school, at home, what does it look like for us to remain humble and gentle? To be remain contending to keep the spirit of unity through the bond of peace. We gotta bear with each other for this to happen. And that's what I lay before us. Let's look past each other's differences. Let's love well. Let's remain unified because God has called us. He's called us to be light. And Paul is challenging the early church and certainly every one of us. We've got to be humble in spirit, gentle in our hearts, demonstrate the love of Jesus to those around us, and let go of those things that get in the way of us remaining unified. So let's love well this week. So look forward to our next time together. We'll see you soon.